Hello and welcome. I'm your host, Dr. Gregory Barroza, and you're listening to the What's Up Doc coverage of the 2022 Hampton Classic $410,000 Grand Prix Show Jumping Championship. It, this is an internationally recognized event showcasing the best of the best equestrian riders and their horses. The horses are beautiful and the riders are talented professionals, many of whom have an Olympic background or are hoping to enter the Olympics at some point in their career. We've interviewed several important individuals and recorded some of the best moments surrounding that event. Please enjoy our audio podcast and also watch our more complete video coverage to truly appreciate the pomp and circumstance of that day. Both productions are broadcast on our new website, www.wasupdoc.com. That's spelled W-U-Z-U-P-D-O-C.com. To receive future broadcast notifications, please sign up on our contact list available on that, wide, on that website. Full coverage has been a collaborative horse doc and talking horses production brought to you by Was Up Doc Media. Thank you for your time and attention, and please listen carefully. I hope to enjoy, you enjoy the broadcast. We're here at the Hampton Classic 2022 with MW, McLean Ward. He's here yet again, another year. He's been a regular. He's one of the best riders in the country, one of the best riders in history. What brings you back over and over again to the same stomping grounds? Well, I've enjoyed the Hampton Classic ever since I was a junior rider. Uh, always is a very important stop on our calendar. Uh, great crowds here, great sport. It's always exciting to win. Uh, and this show keeps improving. This event keeps improving every year, staying at the, the very top of our sport. Uh, so it's very important for us to be here and to be successful here. We hope to see you uh, in the finale this year, and I'm sure that's your goal. Absolutely. You know, we have the Grand Prix on Sunday. That's the, the big event of the week, and we're building towards it, and I hope it'll be in the mix come Sunday afternoon. We're at the Hampton Classic 2022 this year with Daniel Blumen, returning champion from last year and also in 2017. Daniel, what brings you back every year? Well, the Hampton Classic is an important horse show for us every year in my calendar. It's uh, some, some place that I really love to be. Uh, family are here, the owners are here, you know, it's close to home, you know, it's a great show with a great atmosphere, so I'm always very happy to, to be able to be part of it. We wish you a lot of luck, or return back with, a, with another win this year. Thank you, we're definitely going to give it a try. We're here at the Hampton Classic 2022 with Mario Delarier. Anyway, he uh, has won the Classic in 2019. Uh, he's ridden for the U.S. Olympic team, he's ridden for the Canadian Olympic team, and he uh, is quite an exciting rider, and he hopefully will be in the finals this year. So what, what brings you back every year to the Hamptons? So the Hampton Classic is a very special show. I think people love to uh, come to the Hamptons and spend some time here. And we're very involved as a family in the Hampton Classic. My wife is part of the organizing committee. And uh, it's just very close to home, and we, we love to be here. We're here with Danny G. Waldman. Uh, rider U.S. and also Team Israel. Danny, you're here at the Hampton Classic. What brings you back to the horse world over and over again? <laughs> well, I've been in this industry for over 30 years, and um, I just recently moved away from show jumping itself, so I'm not really riding so much, but I'm back in the industry try trying to make new engagements and trying to help mentor young adults coming of age in this industry about performing and uh, handling pressure and managing that work-life balance so and building confidence because it's a tough world out there and uh, these days I think we can get all the help we, we can get. We're here with one of the special jumpers, Laura Bowery. What brings you here today? I'm here to watch the Grand Prix and I had a student show today and I've been showing here all week. We had a great week, a uh, bunch of championships, so it's just great to be here. Welcome everyone and all to the 2022 Hampton Classic. Enjoy. We're here at the 2022 Hampton Classic with Dennis Suskin, who's putting on this whole show, and friends. And Dennis, what brings you back this year and what excites you this year besides all the aggravation of trying to organize the best show in the world? Well, yeah, as you know, I've been doing it for a very, very long time. I, it's something I love to do. I was an amateur rider at a very low level. My daughter 
became a professional. Uh, and it's just something I do until I can't do it anymore. I'm just excited to be here with the new ring, with the new tents that we have this year, and with the great weather. So it's going to be a great year. It has been a great year already, and we have more horses than ever before. Appreciate you being here, and I hope you have a good day. This is uh, Peter Cook at the 2022 Hampton Classic. What brings you here, Peter? Well, Greg, I've been coming here for uh, 40 years now. So I, I can't miss it. I don't ride anymore, but I know a lot of people who do, and I love the show. I love the, uh, the glamour and the beauty of this tent. And so we come and enjoy it. Excited to be here. Mr. Riggio, we're here at the 2022 Hampton Classic. What brings you here? My wife brings me here. I mean, I don't want to leave her alone. So I come here and I meet the best of the best, including her, and including some great riders, and more important, great horses. So it's kind of like the best of the best, it feels good. Well, you're a wonderful couple, I've known you for years, and you're great patrons of all the sports here, of course, racing, oh, yeah. and, and the show jumping and everything, so we're glad you're here. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, everybody. On behalf of the Hampton Classic, it is a thrill to welcome you all here for what is truly one of the great moments we have all year in the sport of jump show jumping when we honor the top three finishers in the culminating event of the Hampton Classic, the $410,000 Hampton Classic Five Star Grand Prix. But first, I have the pleasure of introducing our head table, our three podium finishers here today. To my immediate right, she's still young, but she is an experienced veteran on our Grand Prix circuit and riding internationally for the U.S. And today's third place finisher from the United States, Katie Dinan. <laughs> At my far right, someone who has been at this head table before. He is a two-time winner of the Hampton Classic Grand Prix. Today's second place finisher, two-time Olympic veteran from Israel, Daniel Blumen. <laughs> and in the center, making his first appearance at the Hampton Classic. He's from California, thought it was worth coming across country. We'll see if he still feels that way, but I think we know the answer. A veteran U.S. rider has competed internationally for our country, a Grand Prix champion, but today winner of his first five-star Grand Prix from the United States, 
the winner of Friday's Douglas Elliman Grand Prix qualifier and the winner of today's $410,000 Hampton Classic Grand Prix, Carl Cook. Um, a spectacular performance. Can you tell us right now what you're feeling? I mean, it's it's great to be here. I'm so glad I came. Of course, you know, I have to thank you know my mom who owns the horse, and and it's just great. You know, we worked so hard with that mare and had a lot of highs and lows, um, and just to I don't know for everything to come together and to be riding with these guys, it's just it's an awesome feeling. I mean, that's what makes her click. You know, if you see her, she's hot and a bit wacky, um, and she's very small until, you know, the only reason, it's just a bit of an inverted type jump, but the only reason she can do this is because she wants it, because she, she tries so hard. Uh, after uh, the presentation, I said, well, Daniel, you did your job, but, you know, Daniel, this is kind of turnaround, because one year ago today, you did the exact same thing to McClay. Did you watch Carl's ride? Yeah, yeah, of course I did. Um, and he's, he's a deserving winner. That's simple. You know, he rode great all week. He had a lot of success all week. And I know when I when I crossed the timers that uh, he was he was gonna beat my time. It was just really a matter of if uh, if the rail stayed up or didn't. I mean, I did all I could. You know, I tried to get the crowd going to get him out of focus. <laughs> I did absolutely everything I could, even after I crossed the timers. But uh, but I know Carl. He's a winner. He's been a winner. We know each other for I don't know how many, like 18 years already, or something like that was the first time we showed uh, together, and I'm very happy for him, you know, he's a deserving winner, I think the crowd really enjoyed it, uh, I really enjoyed it, he really enjoyed it, Katie for sure also enjoyed it. We're here at the Hampton Classic 2022 with the winner, Carl Cook, all the way from California. Well, what encouraged great. you to make this trip, and when did you say, maybe I'll go try that place? Uh, we did it many months ago, because you really have to book early, but we were already in Michigan, so the trip was going to be not so long, and it's kind of a bucket list show for me, because it's... It, it's just such a cool show and I've never been, so I just, I wanted to come. So this year it just worked out and obviously I'm so happy I did. Now is this your first time on the East Coast, uh, meeting in the Hampton Classic area, the New York area to Correct. do this? And then, do you find any difference here in this environment with the people, with the food, with the hay, with the bedding, any, anything that you had to adjust to? No, not so much. We brought our own hay to keep uh, consistency with the horses. You know, in the bubble for the horses, it was all similar, but of course the area is different. You know, it's it's a, a different vibe in the area, it, and it's it's cool to be here. But like for the horses in their little bubble, it's it's very much the same. And finally, she's such a hot-blooded uh, filly and uh, or mare, I guess at this time. You explained to me that she's half thoroughbred. Yep. So, just tell me a little bit about what guides you to to not allow her to blow up and blow her her performance beforehand <laughs> and to get the max out of her. I, I've had her for a long time so you you know you have to walk a fine line of you know you can't let her be as hot as she wants and you also can't take it all out because if you take it all out you have no more horse uh, because that's where her quality comes so it's just about riding that line and you know when you have a horse for a while you you get better at it. Thank you very much. Yeah.